Hello, it's Todd Butterfield, WyckoffSMI.com. On this video, we're just going to do a quick video showing uh, some trading I did in the past to show how helpful Wyckoff principles and tools have been for myself over the years. If you look at the history of Wyckoff SMI, I took the course in 1982. After I graduated in uh, late 1983, I decided to uh, get into a United States Stock Option Commodity Trading Championship. It was a real money competition. I was just getting out of college. I wanted to uh, wanted to be a trader. So I borrowed $10,000 from my grandfather and I entered this competition. This competition, as you can see, was February 1st to June 1st, 1984. Frankie Joe, Robert Prechter, Martin Schwartz, the Pitbull, Frankie Joe, some big names, but here I was out of college. I ranked 12th in the nation. I was up 31% during the competition. Again, it was a $10,000 account. I, what I want to go over really is the trades I took so you can see how helpful Wyckoff was back then. And I have more of these over the years. I'm going to go over with some other videos. But this is the commodity perspective chart on the uh, June, uh, basically the E-minis, what they are now. These had just started trading, I believe, in late 82. So I was trading them at that point. And you can see on this chart, let's blow it up a little bit. When the trading started, my first day of trading, everything was looking forward to a, a pretty sharp rally. I bought a couple hours later. Uh, I remember totally stressed out, just borrowed 10000 from my grandfather. I've got a losing trade on, first trade of the competition. I remember wanting to buy more, but there's no way I could do that because I felt like I had really maxed out the risk I wanted to take. So I got stopped out that day. Obviously, later in the day, we had a rip-roaring rally. Close plus for the day. I was sick. Next day, large advance. And then the blue circle was actually a sell signal that I had. But at that point, as we all know, you know, I, I was upset that I got stopped out missed the rally. So I set out that sell signal. And then a few days later, I had another sell signal. I set that out. And then I finally had another buy signal deck down here when we tested the previous lows. So obviously it looked like we'd had a sudden climax automatic rally in the secondary test. So I purchased here, had a nice trade over two weeks, sold out here. Once again, had a sell signal, still trading a little scared, didn't take the trade. Had a buy signal, hopefully we could rally through the recent highs here of the last month rallied up, liquidated my position. I'll leave at these times. I also, you know, I would go short as well. So I sold short here. I sold short. Had a buy signal back down here at the bottom of the range. And uh, this here was obviously scary. We'd slip down to new lows. I had a buy signal here as well, but it was hard to take it. And then uh, had a buy signal here and then took a quick loss with a sell here. Use this as a sell. Two buys back to back. Then we had sells up here at the highs again. Thinking that obviously we wasn't going to go through the highs when actually we did up thrust the highs. I had a buy signal here. Looked like it was going to be back up to the creek. Had another buy signal. And then... Uh, this would have been losses that I took because the backup appeared to not work. And then uh, from there, the market fell apart. Again, at the blue line, I had a buy down here. Uh, could not, you know, I was scared to take the risk of that. Definitely looked like a fall through the ice. And, uh, but I wasn't prepared to buy that. Then we had the rally back to the ice, which was a sell that I took. And then in just a couple of days later, had a buy signal back when we was testing the previous fall through the ice. So you can see, I, I think it's interesting. That's why I wanted to show this is, uh, you know, if I've done this first trade correctly, 
it probably would have, you know, doubled, tripled my returns for the competition. But I was new and obviously trading very scared money. But also anybody that knows Wyckoff, I mean, this chart shows a lot of principles just in a few months of my trading where we had preliminary, preliminary support, a selling climax, automatic rally, secondary test, went sideways, had a spring, tested the spring, looked like we was gonna have a jump across the creek and possibly did have. And then it turned into an up thrust, tested the up thrust, fall through the ice, last point of supply. So all the things that I was taught in the course and uh, the things that I traded and made some money. And these principles that, that worked in uh, 1984 still work today. I know I've got another chart from 1993 when I was at Smith Barney. I was mailing out buy and sell recommendations to trying to build up my business. I've got a chart on that I will show at some point in the future. I've tried to keep these over the years again to go back over my trading and to be able to study what I did wrong or, or did correct. So taking the Wyckoff course, you know, changed obviously my future and, and my life. So I really want to, you know, make sure everyone understands how helpful uh, the Wyckoff tools are. These are the tools you just have to have to supplement your trading and to implement all the Wyckoff uh, principles. So I think it'd be worth your time to take the course, get the indicators working for you and, and change your life. Thank you.